All right, how's it going, guys? Fortune here with Jackalman Games. I am here today with Andrew Cox from the Hyperloops, and we are actually at the end of our first annual Jackal Hunt event with our first place winner. So uh, today we're doing a quick deck tech over what he brought, and uh, what did you bring with this? Bring to the event today, boss man. So it was Elite Snoke, Watto, First Order Stormtrooper. Okay, uh, I assume uh, support heavy. Yep, a lot of supports, all the big ones, all the ones you would expect. Um, yeah, just snoking for resources and playing a lot of things, a lot of cards. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, uh, so uh, what all do we have in the deck? Okay, so I guess we can start with the upgrade and support package. Um, so a couple just like utility things. Uh, there's a one of frag grenade. Um, that was mainly for playing for the water power action. It's just a five out of six to generate a resource every round. It was cute, and it was okay, but um, I would, this would probably be one of the first cuts after playing in the tournament. There's just there's other cards that you want, and it's really hard to keep in the mulligan. So um, it was fine, but probably not going to stay. Uh, two Inferno Droids. Um, these are insane. Two of, for sure. Uh, just being able to pull or move out of your... Um, and see, like, the hands of your opponents um, lets you know that you can, like, be free and go crazy with your support. Uh, two handhelds cards just insane for two costs like we're not playing a lot of upgrades so the downside has basically no effect um, really good can be played on any character support package uh, so one of Imperial Officer so this is going to be really good with uh, both the first order Stormtrooper as well as any of the Mega Blaster dice um, this is really cool interaction uh, basically has two, two focus sides if you think about the ability um, which we always want more focus uh, it's really good as a nice backup in case, like, Watto can't get you a resource. Uh, you can play this for two, roll out the first order Stormtrooper, guarantee a resource, and get up to three. And then that gets you into, like, uh, entourage range and stuff like that. Um, so, as a one-off, it was, it was great. Um, probably wouldn't be any more than that, but it was really solid. Uh, then, other one-off was Slave 1. Um, this is absolutely insane in mill matchups, so if you see any mill decks, uh, the power action is really, really good. Um, and then it's just a nice one of us, an extra support. Um, it's really solid. You can use it as an extra reroll for Watto. Um, and his die is really good for the power action to remove, because 0, 1, 2, that's what most characters and dice have. Uh, then we have, no surprise, two Hard Muscle and two Entourage. Um, I didn't play any Fickle Mercenaries. I cut the Fickles for the two Pirates. Um, I wanted some more utility stuff, like I wanted the Slave 1, and I wanted some more removal, so... Um, I also didn't really want to play the mind games of Fickle. It really, like, it could go in the... You could probably run anywhere from two to four of them, and it'd be fine. Uh, just personally, I just want to run those. And then two Vader Um So that's all the supports. So the support package was uh, kind of what was to be expected. The Slave one was, like you were saying, a very interesting... What kind of got you on the idea to throw it in there for the mill matchup? Um, so, I mean, just at, being a person that's played mill before, I know how good it is in that matchup. So if you're playing any uh, against any mill deck, and there's probably going to be a sum. Like, it was our 6-0 here, right? It was a mill right. deck. Um, that's like your hard mulligan target. Like, you want that round one, you want to play it, because the power action is absolutely nuts. It lets you get a free reroll on top of removing one of their dice, which is super valuable in a mill game. So um, it's just really good all around. Even outside of the mill matchup for three, it's a solid die. And getting that extra reroll, especially for Watto, when he doesn't want to cooperate, like is really good. Makes sense. It just pro provides a lot of extra utility. All right, then removal cards. Uh, probably not a ton of surprises here. Two hidden motive. A lot of zeros. Uh, two forsaken. Yeah, but this is... Two doubts, and then only one of one of sinister beast. Um, this card's really good, but it gets awkward, especially if you have like two in your hand. It clogs your hand, um, and you generally don't want to play more than one throughout a game. So I really liked it as a one of. It could be a two of, but I think I would keep it as a one. Uh, two flanks, uh, one riot shield, and one beguile. Uh, there's been some talk of like beguile versus in the crosshairs. I, beguile was amazing today. Like, I would almost want to. Um, it was just really good being at two costs, being able to play it at the start of every round. Um, and it was really easy to, like, sit on and wait till you had to play it. Or I think Crosshairs is, like, you have to be a little more proactive in playing it. Um, so Beguile was, was really good all day, and I usually didn't have a problem playing it. Um, obviously, you don't want it, like, round one, but uh, when we get into, like, round three, round four, when you're closing out a game, um, it's really good. Uh, one Vandalize uh, pretty much goes with the Mega Blasters, using those extra Stormtrooper dice to Vandalize stuff. I don't think I've played it a ton today, um, but I would definitely want this at least as a one-of, just as a tech card. You can, like, you can Vandalize 
uh, like a six cost Millennium Falcon, possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. gotta Would love like Mega Blaster. Armor, right? Yeah. Like, um, so it just provides a lot of utility. Um, I think I've vandalized a, a riot shield today, like once, just to get some extra damage on a, like a lot of die. It's basically doing two damage with water, right? Which is something you can't right. do. Right. That's twice a um, lot. Then uh, one, no good to be dead. It was okay. I think I only played it once today. Um, it's just like an extra resource card. So like I said, like Watto can sometimes not cooperate, and you really need your money to play other stuff. So it's just like an extra card. You have some indirect. If they move damage to other characters, like you can take it off of the characters that don't matter. Um, so just a nice like backup resource. I think it's solid as a one of. You could argue for two. You could argue for zero. I think any of those would be fine. Um, and then two probes, which are just obviously a really good card. Um, you see the flanks in the in the probes that have one regular art and one alt art. Oh, nice! Look at one that. One old, one new one. You gotta be fancy. Yeah, of course. So uh, the only thing that I'm kind of or that kind of surprised me was the one of them where I showed. Uh, why did you decide to go with just the one instead of both? Um, so. We only have one trooper, so we don't get a, uh, the full value out of it. Um, but some preemptive removal is really good, um, just in case you have some kind of action G aggro deck or something. You want to be able to play it. You could argue for two. It was just like, it was a little awkward always trying to find the one resource to play it. And then there's a lot of indirect in the meta, so you could play it on the trooper and like pull the indirect. Um, but it was just, I don't know. It, I don't really have a great answer. I just didn't feel right, great whenever I had it in my hand. So, like, it was good as a one-of, and it's a so nice, like, extra that. blocker. Like, going to the next round, you can just play it going to the next round. Gotcha. Um, but it was it was just fine. It wasn't, like, amazing. It was fine. I would probably keep it as a one-of. Gotcha. Uh, so, really, the only other question I think I have for you, you mentioned early on that the, um, what was it, the f grenade? Frag grenade. Frag grenade uh, yeah. was something that you'd probably remove. Yeah, uh, so I think that's the only cut, like, obvious cut I would have. Like, the support package feels really good. I like all the upgrades and supports I have. I'd probably cut one of those. I don't know. What were we talking about? Yeah. For second cuts. Beguile? Uh, cuts are, like, yeah. It's the frag grenade. The frag grenade. And then you could choose your last couple supports, and that's about it. Like Honestly, it's, like, flavor to taste. Like, whatever you want your last card to be. It could be a two-of of any of these cards or... Something if else. you want, like I think cool. a second vandalize if everyone's gonna start playing. This, it could right? be a second Friday vandalize. Night, it's it's vandalize. probably pretty good. Yeah, that's not terrible. And then like mulligan oh, for the um, mega blasters. We really solid strategy. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, all right, boss man. Any uh, closing remarks or anything you need us to know about the deck? Uh, no, just thank you to my teammates. Uh, this um, deck idea and deck list came together from both uh, Joe and Mike from the Hyperloops. Uh, I took both of their deck lists, combined it, and kind of this season to my liking. Um, so I appreciate all their input as well as the rest of the team. Um, they helped me put this together. I got some practice and games in with them this week. Um, so really appreciate it. Shout out to the Orlando crew, uh, everyone that's here with me. Uh, we took top two and we had three or four in the top eight. Um, so Orlando continuing to show that we're on top. Uh, love those guys and uh, really appreciate their support. So. There you go. All right, man. Well, thank you for joining us and uh, congratulations on the first place.